Hi, little Gio. It's Auntie Kelly here. I'm ready to read you your bedtime story. I miss and I love you so, so much. I'm sorry I can't. I dedicate this to all the kids that don't have any mommy or daddy to read the bedtime stories. Okay, retired Nurse Kelly K will read you a bedtime story. Since we all become what we think we are. Deep breath. <laughs> okay, let's have a bedtime story. Okay, this is bedtime favorites. One night in the Hundred Acre Wood, a nervous piglet could not sleep. Oh dear, piglet said. I better just stay here until morning. Keep watch for half a lumps, woozles, and all of the creatures that come out at night. The next morning, Pooh knocked on Piglet's door, but there was no answer. Ever curious, Pooh opened the door and stepped inside. He found his friend shivering beneath the covers. Oh, brother, said Pooh, what's the matter, Piglet? Don't you hear it, Pooh? asked Piglet. I do hear it, said Pooh, and it sounds lovely to me. All Pooh could hear was the birds. Not the birds, Pooh, said Piglet. It's the woozles and the heffalumps that set their traps inside my house. I don't see anyone in here except you and me, Piglet. Said Pooh, how can that be, asked Piglet. I'm sure they are here. Those creatures kept me up all night. Perhaps you were dreaming, said Pooh. Let's look around to make sure they're not here. What's that whooshing and whistling, cried Piglet. It's the wind blowing through your curtains, Pooh said. Are you sure, asked Piglet. It sounds rather woozleish to me. If there was a woozle about, I think I would know it, Pooh said. Soon Rabbit stopped by with some freshly picked apples. Just then, a horrible banging and clanging began, sending Piglet beneath a chair. I believe your pipes need some tightening, said Rabbit. My toolkit, and I will be back in a jivvy. It seems Piglet's afraid of everything. Oh, goodness. They heard a plip, plip, plop through, throughout the kitchen. Pooh went over to Piglet's sink and turned the faucet left and right. That should do the trick, he said. I do help Rabbit hurry, said Piglet. All these noises are making me nervous. Pooh turned to his friend. I think I know a way to help Piglet. What if you pretend to be brave, even if you're really not? Piglet considered this. What good is pretending when there are heffalumps and woozles about? Well, Pooh said, perhaps you might get so busy being brave that you forget that you're pretending. And then you can go on being brave. Piglet spent the rest of the noisy day at Piglet's. Or Pooh spent the rest of the day. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's afraid of everything. Oh dear, Pooh, said Piglet. I'm not pretending to be brave. Very well, am I? I'll keep watch tonight, Piglet, said Pooh, tucking Piglet into bed. Maybe we can try pretending in the morning. But soon, Piglet heard a strange sigh, followed by a long snore. It was Boo. Carefully on tippy toes, Piglet made his way over to Pooh's chair. Sure enough, the strange sounds were coming from Pooh. That's funny, said Piglet. Pooh sounds just like a woozle when he snores. But I'd better let him sleep. I'll keep watch myself. Okay. In the morning, Pooh woke to find Piglet outside, waving a broom in the air. Look, Pooh, I'm shooing these blackbirds away. They've been calling and screeching at me. He's being brave. Pooh looked at his friend. Let's take a walk. When you see there's nothing scary out there, it might help you feel brave. Hmm. Piglet stopped to admire a butterfly and then noticed he was alone. Just then, Piglet heard a strange humming sound. Pooh, he whispered, is that you? When there was no answer, Piglet began to shake. He quickly hid behind a thick oak tree. Be brave, be brave, be brave, Piglet said to himself again and again. He's scared. Piglet took three deep breaths. One... Two, three. Whenever you get scared, just take three deep breaths, okay? And then he stepped out from the tree and he said, be brave, he whispered. Just take three deep breaths and be brave. Whenever you get scared. Piglet walked on bravely, looking for Pooh. He listened closely when he heard a curious crunching and scrunching. I'm not afraid, Piglet told himself. It's just some birds or squirrels or mice or... Pooh, is that you? 
Yes, it's me, Piglet, said Pooh. The leaves are making quite a racket today, but you didn't hide. You didn't shout or cry. You were very brave. However, did you do it? I'm not sure, said Piglet. I wasn't even pretending. I just told myself that I wasn't afraid. Pooh hugged his friend. I couldn't have done it without you believing in me, Pooh. That helped me believe in myself, Piglet said. Well, Pooh, that's just what good friends do. Well, I'm your friend. If you don't have a mummy or a daddy or somebody to read to you, I'll be your friend. I'll read your stories to you. And remember, if you're afraid and you have somebody that believes in you, we become what we, we think we are. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to be brave and cur courageous. And There's a lot of mean, bad people out there. We have to be brave. It's not your fault when people hurt you, Gio. Okay, buddy? I know there's a lot of mean, bad people that have hurt you. Okay? Auntie Kelly's trying to save you. I'm doing my best. I'm saying my prayers. I love you. Mwah.